I know that uh, early on, I think Michael Fassbender was was going to play Ricky Tarr, and, and there's such attention to detail with this film, such beautiful little meticulous detail. For you, was it quite easy to, to jump in there and, and make this character your own? Did you have enough time to sort of really feel you were you were in this world? Um, yeah, I mean, as soon as uh, the, good, the great thing about um, when there's two things there, isn't it? It's like first of all. When I met Thomas and uh, and Gary together, they showed me Tralala Man on uh, on YouTube. I don't know if you've ever watched Tralala Man. No. You should YouTube it. And they said this is basically the feeling of it, and we want you to play Tralala Man. <laughs> so that really uh, keep uh, keep me in. And um, and as for Michael Fassbender, he was two years above me at Drama Centre, so oh. we all grew up looking up to him, thinking, well, my year anyway. Um, yeah. He was the best actor in their year, and uh, one of them actually, a couple of them. Um, there was two actors, and two or three actors in this year, yeah. but he was like the, the shining star of that year. So it was really, you know, um, Michael's sort of territory. I, I come from the same school as him, but I mean, obviously, he's he's a bit better than I am. And, uh, well, you're and all he, having a good time. time. <laughs> you're all having a really yeah, good time. Yeah, we'll to him. He's yeah. a great actor. Um, that that, that uh, the, the, the films in Venice and now with the reviews that are, are coming out, it's the sort of reviews that not even Harvey Weinstein could buy. The, 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 the love of this film is so, you know, huge. I don't know whether you felt it early on that you knew, well, these people like Gary and Thomas and all that making the film you can tell or whether it's always a case of when it's finished that's the only time you can really call it um, uh, to be honest I've been fairly incubated from from the reviews I knew from meeting Thomas that he there was a he has a very specific nature from seeing, watching that the right one in and being a massive fan of just Gary Oldman alone um, to me it was a it was a no-brainer then the the, the stellar <laughs> cast of, of, of British talent that comes after that as well was Lined it up, and, and also Robin Slover and Working Title. You know, it just um, felt like it was a blue chip um, production from the off. It didn't take a rocket scientist to to work that out. You're having a, a wonderful run of, of movies, and and, and that, that sense that you, I know you must almost be going from set to set. You've got John Hill Coates, the wettest county in the world. McGee's uh, This Means War. You're currently shooting something called The Dark Knight Rises. I'm not sure what that is. I think it's a vampire film or something. Mm. And then you've also got Warrior coming out. I don't know whether it feels like you're literally going from set to set, whether it feels like this is the this is my life now. This is, uh, I'm basically uh, in this, uh, I wouldn't call it a bubble, but that wonderful world of just going from one film to another. It, well, do you know what? It's really nice to work. And it's nice to be making money. And uh, I mean, sort of making hay while the sun shines, really. And um, I'm trying to stow away as much cash as possible before the inevitable plummet into <laughs> obscurity uh, which will no doubt happen then I can spend more time with my son <laughs> I, I should mention too with, with uh, that vampire movie The Dark Knight Rises I, 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 you could put together maybe about an hour of it on, on YouTube at this stage with all the crazy kind of clips that have come could you fill in the rest for us because it, it would be nice to sort of to know what was going on yeah. <laughs> that, <laughs> that laugh gives away everything doesn't it <laughs> you know, absolutely no chance yeah. whatsoever but when it comes to something like that does it feel like you're, you're this is obviously the expectation is huge on it, and I would imagine it's going to be one of those monster openings mm. does it feel different to you when you step into a movie like that or, or is it you know the same feeling making you know Bronson or making you know smaller movies no there's no difference between a sort of five dollar performance and fifty million dollars performance you know I think you have to put in you know the you take care of the input, and the output will take care of itself. To, to be honest, um, and that's all I know. Um, obviously, there's a lot of money that's being invested in something like *The Dark Knight Rises*, and you are, you know, you'd have to be pretty switched off to be aware of that. But, um, but as far as what it is that I do, the, my personal relationship with my director and my co-stars and, and whatnot, and, and my script, and it's pretty the same. Whether I'm doing street performance or if I'm, I'm doing a big budget movie. After all, I think I've got to wrap it up one more maybe, or no, I've got to wrap it up. Lovely to talk to you, son. You too. Yeah, nice Thank work. You. Thank you, sir. I wanted to actually address the fact that Warrior